This is so nice for me to be with all three of you together, which I think is as it should be. <laughs> Come here, Your Grace. Now tell me, you love the Lady Brian, don't you? Yes. Hmm, I think she loves you too. But I think that it is time that you were breached from the Lady Brian and her nurses. And I think that you were old enough to be placed with your tutors, don't you think? I suppose so. <laughs> well, don't worry. There'll be other boys too. There'll be the Duke of Suffolk's son, Henry. And it won't be all learning languages and scriptures. You'll also learn tennis and fencing, music and dance. Well, that'll be fun, won't it? <laughs> Good night, Prince. Lady Brian, thank you. Good night, Your Majesty. Good night. Your Majesty. Good night, Your Majesty. Good night, Lady Mary. Come here, young lady, let me hug you. I expect great things of you, and I shall not be disappointed. I hope not. Now off to bed, sweet girl. Mistress Ashley, a moment. Anne? that I can trust you. I think that your family are reformers. Yes, madam. Lady Elizabeth's mother, Anne Boleyn, was also a Lutheran and a reformer. I suppose it is my duty, therefore, to bring the daughter up in the mother's faith. Would you have any objection to that, Mistress Ashley? None, Your Majesty. I should be proud to help the princess thus honor the memory of her mother whose life and whose faith too many so easily disparage. Good. Then I will appoint as her tutor, Roger Asham. He is also one of us. Well, Mistress Ashley, this conversation never happened. Good night. Good night, Your Majesty. Good night.